All right, this video is going to get into the specifics of the terrestrial planets, just as a summary of the things we've talked about in class. Before we begin, let's take a look at the order of the planets. Here are the terrestrial planets, the four terrestrial, and they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in order. You should know the order of the planets for the test. Next, we have the Jovian planets, and those are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in order. Let's go ahead and put the dwarf planets in there. Ceres belongs right here within the asteroid belt. Pluto belongs past Neptune right here. And Aries, don't worry about this. This is its old catalog number, this 2003 UB313. Aries belongs past Pluto over here within the dwarf planets. But for now, this video right here is just going to concentrate on the terrestrial planet. So let's go ahead and take a look at some properties. You should be familiar with all this stuff. We've already kind of discussed it all in class. Um, if you're watching this video as a summary, I'm going to give you a little bonus right now, a little tip. Each one of the planets has a symbol, and I'm going to ask you what these symbols are for extra credit on the test. So, here's the symbol for Earth. It's a circle with a plus sign. Here's a circle for Venus. Venus is the female symbol, so it's a circle with a little plus sign underneath. Here's the symbol for Mercury. It's pretty much the same as Venus, but it's got these horns hanging out here. And here's the symbol for Mars. It's the male symbol. So or with a little arrow coming off to the right of the circle. Something else that you should know for the test as we go along, you should know the order of the terrestrial planets from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. So Earth is the largest, and we'll just call that number one. The second largest would be Venus. Third is Mars. And fourth would be Mercury. This is the smallest. Now that's just for the terrestrial planets. Something else that would be a good thing to know would be to know that Venus is Earth's sister planet. Now why do they call this Earth's sister planet? They call it Earth's sister planet because it doesn't have flowing water, it doesn't have clouds or any of those things that Earth has. They call it Earth's sister planet because if you take a look at them, they're nearly the same size. And that's the only reason why they call it Earth's sister planet. That and the days are very similar. This is just over 24 hours, but the year is nearly two years, two Earth years. Other than that, um, it does have some similar geology, but that's just about it. Besides the size, the size thing and the rotation thing, that's really the only thing that makes it Earth's sister planet. Okay, so let's take a look at Mercury. As you already know, Mercury is the smallest of the terrestrial planets. In terms of all the planets, though, not the dwarf planets, but just in terms of all the planets, it's the smallest one or the eighth largest. It's also heavily cratered. Let's talk about why. Here's Earth, for example, and here's Earth's atmosphere. When there's a rock that's crashing to Earth that's going to hit Earth, when it hits the atmosphere, it will burn up. It'll burn up because of the friction between the rock where there's no air in space and our atmosphere right here. So it will burn up when it hits Earth's atmosphere and it will pretty much be all gone by the time it even hits Earth. And any little piece that does hit Earth, it doesn't leave a very big dent. Mercury, but however, Mercury, however, has no atmosphere. So this would be Earth. And here's Mercury. Mercury has no atmosphere, so that means that any rock that's going to hit the planet does hit the planet. And it leaves this huge hole in the planet every time it gets hit by something. So if you take a look at it, it's incredibly pitted and it's incredibly cratered, just like our moon. And that's because it has no atmosphere. We've already talked about its symbol. One more thing about it, the winged messenger. They call it the winged messenger because it travels so fast around the sun. You know that Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, so here's the Sun, and you know that Mercury is the closest planet to it, and it goes around the Sun really super fast. It makes one complete revolution every 88 days, so its years are very quick, and that's why they call it the Winged Messenger, or in the Roman, the God of Thievery and Travel. Okay, so let's move on to Venus, the goddess of love, or the bringer of peace, because she's so beautiful. We already know about the symbol, is the female symbol. 
It's the sixth largest. Uh, so it's just a couple, uh, it's just a little bit bigger than Mercury. It has no moon. Mercury has no moon either. And it also has this runaway greenhouse effect. And here's what that means. So here's a greenhouse here on Earth. And here's the sun. There's the symbol for the sun, a circle with a dot. So when sunlight hits the greenhouse, it holds in heat. The heat can't leave. It just kind of stays in this greenhouse. And the greenhouse gets really hot. And so if you've ever been in a greenhouse, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're always warm no matter what it's like outside. And they don't have any heaters. Well, Venus's atmosphere does the same thing. Here's Venus, the surface, and here's its atmosphere. Because of the gases that the atmosphere is made out of, sunlight comes in, and instead of bouncing out, it just stays right in here. So all that sunlight that goes into Venus's atmosphere stays here, and it makes the planet really hot. That's the effect of having the runaway greenhouse effect. That's the effect of it. So the runaway greenhouse effect helps Venus, or makes Venus, very hot. That's what's really important about this planet here. All right, so let's move on and take a look at Mars. So Mars, the seventh largest, it's got a couple moons. Uh, its moons are shaped like this. They're, they're oddly shaped moons. They, they kind of look like potatoes. Uh, they're not round like our moon. And that's kind of a special property of Mars. Now, why would they be round? Well, a lot of astronomers believe that these are captured asteroids. Now, why would it make sense that these are captured asteroids? Let's think about the order of the planets again. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and then Mars. Then there's the asteroid belt, all hanging out over here. And then there's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The asteroid belt hanging out right here between Jupiter and Mars. It could possibly make sense that a couple of stray asteroids made their way towards Mars and the gravity of Mars picked them up and kind of held on to them. So the moons of Mars, which is the only other terrestrial planet besides Earth to have a couple moons here or to have a moon, remember both Mercury and Venus, they don't have one. These moons here could be possibly be trapped asteroids. What's another couple of things about Mars that are important? It's the most explored. And that's besides Earth, obviously, but it is the most explored planet besides Earth. Why? Because it displays a lot of surface processes that look like Earth. It has all these things here that look like old riverbeds. And the Mars Curiosity rover that's there right now believes that it's sitting in an old riverbed. It believes that it may have found the first actual evidence to support that water flowed on the planet. So they're looking into that right now. So I think it's going to be pretty groundbreaking if they actually figure that out. And it'd be pretty cool if it happened this year while you were in class. So it's the most explored, and it displays a geology very similar to Earth. So these are the two things that make it really special. Uh, that and it's that it's got two moons, and Mercury and Venus have none. Okay, so to review, we talked about the size of the planets that. Earth, Earth is the biggest, then comes Venus, then comes Mars, then comes Mercury. We went through the symbols of each one of the planets. We went through a special property of each one of the planets, the runaway greenhouse effect over here on Venus. The most explored here on Mars, heavily cratered over here on Mercury. We didn't talk about any special properties with Earth because we're going to be talking about Earth all year long. So we're just going to cut it right there with these other three. The main thing to know about Earth is that it does have a moon. It's the planet we live on. It's the one we do know the most about because we live on it. And its symbol is that circle with the plus sign. Other than that, that covers everything we need to know about the terrestrial planets. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can get a hold of me via Edmodo or just talk to me in class.